Hello guys, I hope you're all well. Well, I've just done a minimalism sweep video, which I'll link below. And because the house is all as decluttered as possible, I thought I would get on and do my seasonal clean. Seasonal clean is basically a spring clean, but I do it every time the season changes. But yeah, this is my kind of summer clean, but it's basically the same spring clean, summer clean, autumn clean, and winter clean. I'm just gonna do the bedrooms in this video, but I will also show you how I do the kitchen as well, and then other rooms of the house. But yeah, this will just be my room and my three boys' rooms. So I start off by taking an e-cloth, it's really good because you only need to use water with it so I use this to do the windows. I give them a really good wipe and I also make sure to do things like the panes in between and the handles and just kind of the whole window area and I also use this to do the mirrors as well because it's just really good at not leaving any streaks. I then open up all the windows, get some fresh air in and then I spray the curtains with a mixture of water and essential oils and sometimes fabric softener as well just to give them a bit of a freshen up. I then take my Method Multi-Surface Anti-Vac Surface Cleaner and a little cloth and I use that to clean the windowsills. I clean everything on them as well, so I empty out the pots, make sure there's no spiders or anything in them and just give them a really good clean. I then move on to my dressing table and I clean all the little pieces inside of like the dishes and my little drawer unit and stuff like that. It seems like a lengthy process going through like each wing and each lipstick and stuff, but, but it really isn't that lengthy. I don't have that much stuff, but I basically give everything a wipe with the e-cloth and a bit of water, wipe down the tray and the bowl and the little acrylic set and then put everything back that I want to keep. And this is a good chance to get rid of anything that I don't want to keep. I then do the exact same to all of my drawers. So I give everything a wipe down, clean out the inside and put everything back. I'm keeping my makeup brushes out here because I'm going to give those a clean too. And to do that, I just use my Dr. Bonner Liquid Castile Soap. It is amazing. I just put a tiny bit on my hand, add some water, and rub the brushes into my hand, and they come out amazing. It's all natural, all organic, so really good to then go back on your face. I'm then going to move on to my clothes and my drawers. So I take each item out, give them a little bit of a shake, and then fold them up properly again because things just get so scrunched up. And then I give the drawer a wipe clean, put everything back in that I want to keep and it's a good chance to get rid of anything that I don't want. I do the same to the rest of the drawers and then I clean the outside of the unit. So I clean the fronts of the drawers, the handles, the top, the sides, the back, everything. And then I do the same to the side tables. So I just give everything a clean, like the remote controls, the lamp, the sterilizer, the Tommy Tippy perfect prep machine, which actually gets quite filthy. And then I take everything out of the drawers, give the inside of the drawers a clean and put everything that I want to keep back in. Right, now I move on to the wardrobe, but this is quite a task. So I go through all of the clothes, make sure that everything's the right way, not inside out. I give the hangers a bit of a wipe. I take out any winter bits to put into storage, take out anything that I don't want to keep anymore. I give it all a bit of a wipe down, like on top of the rail, the inside of the doors and stuff. I hoover the bottom of it and kind of the back corners because you get quite a lot of dust in there. And then I clean the outside of the wardrobe. So I wipe down the doors, the handles, the hinges, the sides. And then I go onto anything on the walls. So the photo frames, I just give a wipe down. The TV, I also wipe down, obviously very carefully. And then I use a magic eraser just to wipe off any marks from the walls. These tend to just be like Jasper's fingerprints. And then I go onto the radiators. I just give them a wipe down with a cloth. And then I use my Dyson handheld hoover just to get the dust and cobwebs from behind them. Okay, onto the bed. So I strip the bedding. Of course I do change the bedding once a week, sometimes like once every two weeks that I push, but when I do a seasonal clean, I flip the mattress, I give the wooden slats a bit of a wipe down, I get anything from underneath the bed like Pete's odd socks. And then I put some bicarbonate of soda onto the mattress and I spritz it with some water and essential oils just to kind of clean it. And I use a razor to get up any of the fluff. And then I make the bed and it's lovely and fresh. 
I then go on to hoovering and I always start up high because if anything falls then I can finish off by hoovering the bottom. I do the lampshade, I do the corners of the room, I do above the curtains and then I do down the sides of the wardrobe, on top of the wardrobe, any hard to reach places like the back of the dressing table, side tables, things like that. And then I finish off with the carpet. And then I finish off by doing the exact same thing to both of my boys' bedrooms. And that's it, that's how I do a seasonal clean in between all of the kind of daily cleans, weekly cleans that we do. I forgot to mention this as well, that I do a morning and evening daily clean. In the morning I just kind of clean up things after breakfast and from during the night and get it ready for the day. And in the evening I clean everything from during the day to get everything ready for the morning. So that's just stuff like anti back in the sides, loading the dishwasher, stuff like that. And then weekly we have a lovely lady who comes to clean our house and she'll like hoover, steam the floors um, and give everything a bit of a deeper clean. Obviously she doesn't do things like inside the wardrobe and like spraying the curtains and stuff like that. So that's why I need to do a seasonal clean every season. <laughs> well I hope you liked it, if you did please do give it a big fat thumbs up. Stay tuned for the other videos in this series, there'll be a kitchen one, bathrooms and probably like living spaces. Comment below, let me know what you thought, let me know what you do, if I've missed anything out, um, if you've got any product suggestions, anything like that. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye!